All right, friends, how's it going? Guthrie Trap here coming to you from my little music room here in East Nashville, Tennessee. Hey, uh, I'm going to do another quick video here. It's Friday evening. Uh, about to go down to the Skimmerhorn uh, Symphony Hall here in Nashville and see uh, some buddies of mine play for a but Don Williams tribute tonight at the Symphony Hall. Looking forward to that, but I wanted to get a little video in before I uh, have to put on my monkey suit and head down there. Uh, hey, so, um, you know, again, I just want to say real quick before I get going, man, thanks to everybody that has um, just been super generous with the comments and the, uh, and the really... Um, positive and motivating feedback um i that helps me so much to, to to get up the energy to want to keep doing these videos and um you kind of dip in there and do it when i've got a little bit of time extra time here in nashville uh lots of stuff coming up this this month during some touring with john oates um don't forget about the artist works giveaway also the um african safari clinic that i'm doing for a week over there uh in march of uh 2020 um and just all the other stuff, you know, check out the links below for Artist Works and the private lessons and Skype and all that stuff. Uh, I've got to shamelessly sh uh, self-promote here a little bit, but um, that's what we do uh, apparently here on the YouTube uh, world. Uh, but anyway, this video, I want to uh, get into uh, a little bit of licks, uh, some licks in the style of B.B. King. I uh, thought that would be kind of cool. Um, these aren't necessarily difficult to play. But the phrasing and stuff is the key, and that's why uh, his stuff is, is really amazing because, uh, you know, all the kings, Freddie, uh, B.B., and Albert, are like blues pioneers, of course. Isn't it amazing that all their names are, are, are last names are king? You know, pretty crazy uh, coincidence there. Um, anyway, I love love B.B.'s stuff, Live at the Regal, uh, just tons and tons and tons of great uh, recordings. A great, great uh, way to... To check out BB is um, his t different styles is the thrill is gone, which is a minor blues, and then a lot of the other stuff he does that's a dominant seven blues. And to to be honest with you, instead of just a straight dominant seven, he's adding in that that six. You know, it gives you that real uptown blues kind of sound. You know. mistakes and all um so yeah let's get into this a little bit so so just um the, the way you play this chord first of all play a big g7 and so instead of putting the 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 f down here on the uh sixth fret b string i'm gonna back that up from the flat seven to the sixth which is an e note on the b string fifth fret Gives you that real cool uptown swing kind of sound. say no matter what the, the notes that change in the chord are the notes that you want to target when you're playing lead so if I was going to target that note so there's a couple tricks there so I'm playing right out of this G shape right out of that big B uh, G chord and then breaking it down into this but I'm co coming right out of that lick uh, right out of that chord position shape and I'm doing this I'm I'm getting up to that third by sneaking up to it rather than going right to it that 
that sounds too plain and too vanilla, right? So I'm going to go. So what I'm doing is I'm, I'm coming up to that major third, which is a big part of that sound. You can't play dominant. Uh, you can't play straight blues, uh, straight minor pentatonic or straight major pentatonic over these dominant seven chords. It's going to get old real quick. You gotta add in a little bit of these other notes, uh, the the because so, this chord it has the major third and the flat seven in it, of, you know, in that G. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna target. So that's a great lick. So what I'm what I'm doing is is I'm getting to the uh, major third by coming down from uh to, coming up to it from the flat third so that's a b flat note on the third fret g string so g tonic and i'm hitting that six to get to my one on the fifth fret b string and a lot of times i'm going to reiterate that one just to make it to drive it home, I'm going to slide up to that one again like this. The phrasing would be... Coming back down, flat seven, right out of the minor pentatonic. And then flat three, third fret G string, B flat, to get down to A to that one. It sounds weird if you play it by itself, but all together. And then back up. Major pentatonic. And then I'm sliding a half step into that G shape again. Major third, uh, second fret, fourth fret G string. And then the third fret first finger D, uh, B string, but I'm sliding up to that shape right out of this chord from a half step below it. So, so that whole thing. You could go back down the chord. third which is going to bring us back home to right our big uh, G uh, dominant seven with the six in it so that whole thing again okay I'm, I, I could break that down it, we could do the whole lesson on just that one lick but I want to get to some other stuff so these are just ideas. If you want to really get down and break into this stuff note for note and really get in depth with a lesson, I recommend doing a private lesson with me. You can't ask YouTube a question, but you can ask me a question and it all gets videotaped for you in a nice uh, high def video with a nice audio and all that stuff. So uh, that's always an option. Getting up to some of these other um, licks here. A classic thing that he would do is he would just grab that one like we're in G go all the way up here to this high octave G on the E string. This would be the 12th, 13th, 14th, 15th fret. And he's just going to sting it, right? Almost like a horn stab. Wow, right? And then he'll, he'll follow that up with an alert. The thing about B.B. King's style is he's really using a lot of the major uh, pentatonic area. Uh, but he's mixing it, in, mixing it in with the blues. So, uh, I'm going to show you that too in a second, but this little stinger lick is just right off the tonic of whatever key you're in. So the goal is to be, and I'm, I'm going to get back to these licks specifically, but the goal with all this is to learn some of these little riffs and connect them all together and then your vocabulary starts really building and I hate to teach licks but 
uh, you do have to have some to just kind of, you're, you're building this vocabulary of, of things that you can connect. And that's what um, improvising really is, is just, um, you know, we're, we're, we're truly improvising, but we're also building a lot of that on stuff that we've learned as a kid and remembered, you know, a lot of these licks and, and, uh, and phrases and lines and stuff like that. So um, licks are, you know, I don't like to teach licks because I like to teach a guy how to fish, not to you just give them fish. And you got to know where these come from. But that's a whole other thing. That's what we're working on here. But these uh, little ideas like these BB King things, it's more the flavor of his personality than me just showing you licks. But um, but getting into this this area here, uh, it's going to be out of like your C shaped G position. <laughs> There's your D shape, there's your C shape. So getting into this pentatonic. There's that tonic right there on the fifth, seventh, ninth, uh, eighth, eighth fret on the B string. There's your tonic, right? And B.B. King had a pretty, you know, pretty strong vibrato. He, it wasn't out of tune. It wasn't really crazy. Like, it wasn't out of tune or anything, but it was real, um, real prominent, right, in his style. So, you can really wiggle that thing. But when you do, make sure you're not bending it out of tune. You want to... You want to wiggle it, but you want to let the string bring itself back to, to like unity, where, where it's in tune, right? So this, again, getting back to the riff. So that first one. Just right out of that major pentatonic. And then he would bend, uh, uh, let's see, uh, so, so getting into that bend there, major area here that's a four using a little bit of the scale uh, uh the, the the c note right to give it that nice melody and then he might bend out of the minor pentatonic which is going to that b flat on the 11th fret B string and then bending up to that C then the C bends not a full step but kind of a semitone almost a half step but then instead of doing this That's a little too bluesy, so we're going to go back to this part here. And then he's bending up from that two, heading towards the major third of the, of the G, right? So that's a lot right there, but, but this is the idea. off that this uh, E note here which is your six that's that's where you're coming home to that note that's another thing he would do uh, always hammering on that one right
So I'm stringing those two ideas together. This is another idea. With the, the thing I messed up a minute ago, this is what it's supposed to sound like. So as you could do it there. Well, it's, it sounds better, I think, to do it like this. Because I'm really using that. Ending on that six is really cool. Because that really gives you this sound. ideas but we're, we're, we're flavoring it with a little bit of the blues feel and 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 a little bit of the minor pentatonic when we dip into here as soon as I hit that B flat that takes me into the blues uh, minor pentatonic so minor major right so here's your minor a little bit of this in, right? That six, which is your E note. Now I'm going to put a shuffle feel behind this. I know, but it's Friday afternoon, and 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 uh, we're having some fun. So right here, uh, that major third. So there's your your C shaped G position. I'm just walking chromatically down from the D. To B, the major third of G, and then I'm reiterating it again. The uh, from B to C, right out of that that G, uh, the D shaped G chord, but we're in the C position because we're coming up from from here, right?
Thanks, folks. Hey, uh, thanks so much. Check out the links. If you want to do a lesson, let me know. Quick Friday evening video here just to keep it going. A little BB King treatment. I uh, hope you got something out of that. It was kind of a quick one. Um, more to come hopefully this weekend. It's getting busy. November's going to be pretty crazy. But um, hey, man, uh, thanks so much again for the positivity. If you want to contribute to the coffee slash lunch fund, uh, the tip jug is below. And whatever else you need, let me know. Thanks a million, and we'll see you guys soon. All right, take care. Bye.